So I have a, a PowerPoint presentation I'd like to show you and I'll take you to the proposed South Dakota National Heritage Area. And I want to mahalo you for the opportunity to testify in support of my bill, House Resolution 1925. And I also thank my friend and my colleague, Congressman Ed Case, for joining me as an original co-sponsor. I'm also a strong supporter of Congressman Case's uh, House Resolution 1908, as he had briefed earlier. But is, it is with great excitement that I stand before you today to showcase one of the most beautiful and precious and pristine areas in the state of Hawaii. This legislation will help preserve and protect some of Hawaii's most immaculate shorelines while enhancing economic activities connected to our visitor, coffee, macadamia, flower, and tropical fruit industries. Designating the area as a national heritage area will benefit the economy and will protect the alluring beauty of Hawaii Island and enhance the vibrancy of Hawaii's multicultural and national uh, and native Hawaiian communities. Next slide. The state of Hawaii, uh, as, as you uh, probably know, Chair, is comprised of eight main Hawaiian islands, eight major islands. They are from Ni'ihau, all the way in the upper left corner, down to the island of Hawaii, otherwise known as the Big Island, uh, where the National Heritage Area proposed site is located. Next slide. The South Kona National Heritage Area is located on the southwestern region of the island of Hawaii. Um, this unique region boasts numerous intact and significant native Hawaiian cultural sites that date to pre-Western contact, 10 miles of undeveloped coastline and intact marine and terrestrial ecosystems that support dozens of threatened and endangered plant and animal species. Many native Hawaiian residents uh, share a strong connection to this place through generations of stewardship, cultural practices and traditions. Next slide. Along the coastline, there is Honomalino Bay, Kapua Bay, Pahui Bay, and Kalai, otherwise known as South Point. Pahui Bay is one of the few untouched places in Hawaii. Uh, this area is home to a number of historic trails, heiau, or sacred sites and temples, petroglyphs, and other cultural features. And Pahui Bay is also a prime nesting point, uh, an area for the endangered hawksbill sea turtle. In the north, Honmalino is a black sand beach and is one of the most picturesque sites on the island of Hawaii. Next slide. Each of those four locations are depicted there. Honomalino Bay in the upper left corner, Kapua Bay on the right-hand side, Pahui Bay on the left, and Kalai, otherwise known as South Point, on the southernmost tip of the continental United States. Um, this area at Kalai is already a registered National Historic Landmark District and is a site of one of the earliest settlements in the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, now, within this geographical area, like I mentioned earlier, are petroglyphs. Um, these are carvings by the ancient Hawaiians that, that drew pictures into the rocks. Uh, there are heiau, otherwise known as uh, uh, ancient temples, burial sites, caves, and ancient trails and house sites, and a fully preserved holua slide or a Hawaiian um, sled at Ahole near Kapua Bay. Next slide. The South Kona Wilderness Area, uh, if you can go to the next slide, is proposed by the Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs in the 1970s. This area was established in 2011 by the state of Hawaii for the pres preservation of the culturally and historically rich South Kona area. Um, today, these lands are administered by the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources. Uh, these lands already include um, several of the areas that we are proposing in the uh, National Heritage Area, such as Honomalino Bay, Okoe, um, and Kapua. Next slide. Traversing the South Kona National Heritage Area is the 175 mile Alakahakai National Historic Trail. This is a trail that runs more than half of the coastline on the island of Hawaii. Um, the trail enables and, and enabled in the past the gathering of food and water and harvesting of materials and shelter. And it is literally a stone trail that goes for um, at least 100 miles from North Kona all the way down to South Kona. And you can walk it right in between um, um, sharp and very rugged uh, and barren lava fields on the South Kona coastline. Next slide. Cultural practices are very important in Hawaii um, and traditions are very important as well. I talked about the holua slide or the lava sledding at uh, Kapua Bay, but in Hawaii, traditional and customary gathering rights and those cultural subsistence practices are codified in the Hawaii State Constitution. These rights include access to the ocean to harvest the bounties of the sea. Next slide. The community sponsor um, for this proposed National Heritage Area 
uh, that the Department of Interior will, will be able to work with is Pa'apono Milo'i. Uh, this organization was formed in 1980, over 40 years ago. It's fully incorporated as a 501c3 in 2004, uh, primarily for the purpose of preserving and protecting um, these special um, areas and the culture and historical history of this area. Um, this organization has performed federal, state, and county EISs. They've partnered with many other organizations throughout Hawaii, including at the federal level, NOAA and the Housing and Urban Development. Next slide. Community support is very important. You're gonna hear from uh, uh, one uh, community organization today, um, the um, uh, organization called the Kona Kohala Chamber of Commerce, but it is with great joy that uh, community voices have expressed support for the South Kona National Heritage Area, and, and I'm very grateful for their support uh, to include not just the Kona Kohala Chamber of Commerce, but the Alakahakai Trail Association, the Hawaii Islands Land Trust, the Laopua Homestead Association, the Nature Conservancy of Hawaii, uh, the Trust for Public Land and the Department of Land and Natural Resources. Uh, further, I'm committed, uh, I'm sure as all the members are in these proposed uh, national heritage areas to a fully transparent process and making sure that all local stakeholders are aware of the process, that they're able to participate in these public hearings, that they can share their comments and that we can get and answer any of their questions. Last slide. Finally, uh, an olelo no eau or a Hawaiian proverb in Hawaii, a very, a very famous one is ohe hana nui ke aloi'a, which means, uh, Mr. Chairman, no task is too big when done together by all. And so on behalf of uh, Hawaii's second congressional district, thank you for giving me an opportunity to present my testimony on the proposed South Kona National Heritage Area. And I uh, humbly ask for the support of the committee members um, and um, um, the committee. Thank you so much. Mahalo.